to the latest jobs report. And Rebecca, it's the last one before the presidential election. Yeah, Michael, these reports are always important. This is the last one before the election, and it was weaker than forecast. Just 12,000 jobs were created in the month of October. That's below where expectations were. And there were really three major events that put a dent in the numbers. First of all, Hurricanes Helene and Milton, and then the strike at Boeing. Manufacturing jobs, for example, those fell by 46,000 in the month of October. Still, unemployment is holding steady at 4.1 percent. That is near historic lows. Over the last 12 months, the economy has generated on average a gain of 194,000 jobs each and every month. And that's still a very healthy number when you look at job creation overall. Michael? So where does that put the economy right now? So you look at joblessness, mm -hmm. historically low, economic growth, steady right now. Inflation, which had been a worldwide phenomenon coming out of the pandemic, is finally back near where economists want to see it. Families, though, are still paying about $1,000 more a month on the same goods and services as they were a year ago. That's even with wages up, so not everyone feels the boost. The Fed has been cutting interest rates, and we expect them to head lower. And consumer confidence, something that a lot of economists are also watching, is heading higher right now, and consumers continue to spend.